Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, if you don't already know that. So, a while back, I mean like two weeks ago, um, somebody suggested that I should do um, some sort of like sewing tutorial or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I need to get sewing done anyways, and I need to film another video, so I thought I would just kill two birds with one stone. So. Um, it's gonna be a really simple, um, dress that literally anybody could make, I think. Um, and, yeah, it's just a really perfect pattern for spring and summer. Credits for the sewing idea do not go to me, um, I have a client that ordered a dress like this, or actually ordered a couple dresses like this, so I thought this would be just the perfect, um, tutorial because it's just so easy and spring and summer is coming up shortly here. Also, I am having such a hard time with knowing what kind of videos to make right now. Like, it's not, it's kind of too early to do all sorts of spring stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I have so many ideas for like spring and summer things to do, but it's just kind of early to do some of them yet. So. Yeah, I thought it would be a great idea to um, do a sewing one. So anyways, I'm just going to get right into it. So I'm going to be doing it in my dining room today just because the lighting's better and I have so much more space. But I already have my sewing machine set up there and I got my ironing board set up. I do a lot of ironing while I sew. And of course, I've got my girl who I hang out the most with. <laughs> chilling in the corner over here. I got my supplies here. I'm going to be sewing this dress out of this material. Got my thread, my scissors, and all of the measurements and everything. And the most important part, um, definitely need my fuel. So I apologize for the bad lighting in here. It's that time of day where it's like so sunshiny and it just it's not that great of lighting when the sun's blasting in. Anyways, um, so the first thing I like to do before um, I sew a dress, because I rarely get a pattern given to me when I do sew, what I do is I get um, the person's measurements, just like the basic, I don't know, measurements, and then um, I often just write them down I know, it's so professional. I just use my notebook for everything. I just like, um, let me just show you. So I just always write down, yeah, the basic measurements. Normally I need more measurements than this, but since it's such a casual and easy dress, I don't need more than that. And then I just kind of write down like any extra details and stuff like that. So normally before cutting out, I would add about two inches to like the bust and the waist, depending on what kind of a waist it's going to be. Um, this is going to be a drawstring one, so it doesn't really matter the measurements, you're just going to want it wider anyways, so it kind of um, gathers up when you pull the string tight, if that makes sense. Um, but the bust area, I think I'm going to add one and a half inches before cutting it out, just because this is a casual dress and it's a stretchy material. And it's not going to have like a back seam, so you don't need as much extra room. So, yeah. I hope this makes sense, and I hope this <laughs> helps, because, yeah. I feel like I'm not the greatest person at explaining things, but I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me anyways. Okay, not the greatest angle, but I wanted to show you how I cut out my pieces. It probably looked super confusing because I don't have, like, I don't really sew with the proper pattern. I just kind of do a lot of measuring and guesswork and stuff like that. But this is the skirt. It's folded in half. So, yeah, once I take it 
Like, that's how wide it is. It does not, like, this is not how um, wide the waist is going to be. I um, cut out the waist the same uh, measurement as I did the bust because this is going to be like a drawstring waist, so you want it to be cut out looser. So this is what the bodice looks like. I cut out, I guess I didn't really think about it that I was cutting out the neckline the same, the front and the back. I might end up cutting the back, or the front, a little bit bigger yet because um, like on t-shirt um, material then you do like a, I don't know what you call this, but that's how you finish off the neck neckline. Thank <laughs> goodness, I sound, I don't sound like a seamstress, do I? Anyways, um, I never tried this before, but she wanted sleeves that, like just a little bit of a sleeve, but not an actual like extra piece of material. So I kind of just looked it up on Pinterest, how you cut it out, and this is what it looks like. So then you're gonna um, kind of, it's really, hard to show you but you're gonna fold it over and sew it on like that so that's what we're working with right now it's like so easy literally four pieces so I'm gonna start sewing it now and hopefully you guys can make sense of all of this okay so I thought I would show you guys what I'm gonna start with so I'm gonna start by sewing the shoulders together um obviously you Put the inside out while you're sewing that. Everybody knows that, right? Um, so yeah, just gonna start by um, sewing this part right here together. Okay, so this is what I've got. I have the shoulders um, sewn together. Um, so originally, this is the bottom of the sleeve right here. Originally, I was going to just fold it over this way, but I can't because I didn't think of it that there's going to be the seam showing on the sleeve. So I came up with another idea. I cut out little strips like this, and I'm going to um, just sew them onto the sleeve. Actually, I'm going to sew it the other way. And then, oh, I feel like I'm doing such a bad job of showing you guys. Um, yeah, then I'm just going to fold it over and sew it like that and that'll be finished off perfectly. Okay, so I finished one sleeve, so this is kind of what the finished product looks like. It's just, um, yeah, nicely finished off like that. Um. Okay, so what I am doing now is I cut out this strip and this is going to be like the why do I not know what this is called? Like the edging, I don't know, um, around the neck line. Um, I'm not going to do any sort of, I'm not really going to show you how I do it. Um, if you want to know how to do it, um, there is lots of tutorials on YouTube already. Um, so yeah, you can just go ahead and look it up. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and sew that into the neck. show you what it's looking like right now, but this is the neckline. Oh, it's so satisfying when it turns out so good. Okay, I feel like I'm really bad at this whole thing. 
I hope this video turns out and that it's like helpful and stuff, but anyways, what I did was I sewed the skirt onto the waist. So that's what I got right now. It's still open at the sides here. Um, so my next step is um, to go like down the sides on both sides and sew it shut before we put in the drawstring. It currently um, is looking a bit like a sack, um, but that's what we're going to work on next. We're going to work on, I'm going to sew a small strip of material um, all the way around and then put like a string through there kind of thing. So as you probably saw, I just got done um, hemming. The bottom of the dress so yeah all we have left to do is um put in the drawstring and then we are done Is the finished product I think it turned out really nicely um, yeah I just put like a little string I actually ended up putting the that strip of fabric that I sewed on to hold this string in I put that in the inside I think it looks more cleaned up that way so yeah but I just want to show you in the back here um, this is not like a huge deal but Right here, if you can see, I um, sewed a little bit, like just across here so that um, the string would not come out. So I'm just going to go around and show you a few of the details. This is what the sleeves look like. Um, honestly, I think they maybe look a little bit narrow. Next time I think I would um, cut them a little bit wider, but... Other than that, I think they turned out great. Um, and yeah, the neckline turned out great. Um, yeah, just a nice knee length dress that is perfect for summer. So there you have it. Um, excuse her, um, she's just kind of lurking in the background. She's a bit creepy that way, but um, I hope this was helpful and I hope that this was interesting. Um, I know I can be a little bit bad at explaining things like sometimes I just have to just do it like because I just can't explain it or I can't find the right words to say. So yeah I hope this wasn't boring or anything um, and hopefully nobody felt pressured to watch the whole thing um, because I know sewing does not interest everybody. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you today. I had fun sewing this dress and making a video. It was a little bit harder. Um, it definitely takes a lot more time if you are filming the entire process, but yeah, it was fun. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I just wanna say that the support that I've gotten for this channel so far has been incredible and I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you. Um, yeah, each like um, and comment is, I don't know, it just really helps me out and it just makes me so happy. So thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to do so and give this video a like and we shall see you next Monday.